Good morning, everyone. We are back, y'all. We are running a day late. I have been super sick. I am feeling so much better. I'm just down to a nagging cough and a headache. <laughs> so things I can deal with now. So I am back to show you exactly what came in. Y'all, I have been talking about this off and on. This is my newest budget with Emmy binder, y'all. I've been waiting five weeks for this to come in, like five weeks. These take so long to make. And Emmy's always overwhelmed with how many orders we all place with her because we just kind of snow her under with a lot of orders. So I was super excited to get this in, went back to her shop last night and realized that she was on vacation. So Emmy, get back to Etsy. I need another binder. <laughs> I told y'all that I was going to be get, doing away with my zippered envelopes and I wanna go to these. I believe that they're more sturdy. I know they're more sturdy because I use them and I don't have an issue with the zipper because from time to time I do have zippers that break in the full bit on the plastic zippered ones. So I am now using this for my 12 months binder, January all the way through December. I am also using it for my five savings challenges that I pulled from Jordan Budgets. I've also added a couple extra savings challenges to this binder. This is a 20 envelope binder. And I have not yet, but I am going to be making labels for the back because as I do with all my other binders, I am turning this 20 envelope binder into a 40 envelope binder. My son will have to make dividers for this as well. And when he does that, I'll tell you here in a minute when we get through the first side, what we plan on doing with the back side. So with that being said, we have our Emmy binder. Also that came in are my IOU cards and I have my fully funded card set. These are both from Crafted by Free over on Etsy, also known as Budget with Free on YouTube here. Now, I actually am so super shocked that she did this because I was in cloud nine. When she came out with this set, which is the fully funded, now she has different versions of this set, different types of prints and that. I went with the funky set, of course, that's just how I am laminated y'all beautiful oh my gosh you can use them over and over again the quality is through the roof high and i do mean through the roof high so this is the funky set that i have i'm gonna push these off to the side when i saw her come out with those i was like hold up free you have to make an io set you have to make this so many times i see people just sticking in little post-it notes and things like that and when they owe for an envelope that they've had to pull money out of there for some unknown reason or for some certain reason um whatever they need to pull it from and i've had to do that myself y'all i've had to pull from an envelope because i was short on another envelope um and there was reasons i just pulled because i wanted to pull so with that being said i said you needed to make the iou set so i owe you so when you pull from your envelope and you need to be able to replace that money at a later date, use one of these. Oh my gosh, as soon as I said that, she's like, girl, I'm on it. And I am honored that she made this. Oh my gosh, this is my idea. This is her different designs. This is the funky set, obviously. <laughs> she makes one set of the IOU to match the sets with the fully funded. But this is my idea has come to life in the sense of getting the IOU cards made by somebody. And I knew free, as soon as I got the fully funded set, I knew 110% this would be absolutely amazing. So free, thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for putting this set into reality. I absolutely love it. I've got, I'm dying to find out how she makes these because they are just through the roof, gorgeous, and I just absolutely love them. So please go over to Craft It By Free and get your IOU cards and or, I suggest both, your fully funded set. So we do have these. We're pushing those aside, so I could just wanted to show you those. Now, here we go. Here is my budget with Emmy new binder. So we've got January, y'all. I have pulled the money out. They Each one of my kids, Philip and Jesse, had $80 in here for their birthday for next year. My goal is to get them each to $200. With that being said, I pulled their $80. Y'all, I have a hard time doing swaps on camera, being that I can't see my denominations. I am over 95% visually impaired. 
So with that being said, I see light, dark shadows and shape. With my CCTV, I can make out some outlining and edging. Um, it's really hard but and difficult and it strains my eyes, but I can. But other than that, that's what I got. So what I did was I pulled out their $80. Now every single month, once a month, they each get $20 in this envelope. Philip will turn 12 on January 25th and Jessica is going to turn, oh my gosh, teenagers at <laughs> 13 on January 31st. So since they're each going to get $200, I put $20 in every single month for each one. So that's $40 a month I stick into this envelope. Once it reaches $200, I'm done with their birthday money. So I told you I pulled out the 80. Well, I need to add an extra 20 in for each one today. So by adding in an extra 20, that gives them $100 each now. Their birthday is in later January. So we are only in August. We will be done, hopefully, before their birthday. And then once it reaches its 100, we will cap it off. Now, in the back, I have more money back here. I do put the paper clip on their birthday money to kind of separate their birthday money from the rest of the money. The rest of the money back here, I put in a $5 bill every single week, $5. They have 50 in here. This extra five makes 55. And that $55 is going to be capped off at about a hundred bucks, y'all. That's going to go towards their birthday cakes and their meal. Now, for their meal, we're going to eat here at the house. They chose McDonald's, so Jessica, Philip, Danya, and myself will each get McDonald's and we'll have Uber Eats delivered to the house in January. And it also will cover both of their cakes. So they'll have their meal covered, their cakes covered, and then they'll have $200 each for their birthday. February, nothing really happens in February other than my husband and I's fifth year anniversary is on Valentine's Day. And my kids are each going to get a box of candy on Valentine's Day. So we have 50 in there. This is a five. It'll be 55. Now, my husband will not be over here from overseas in February. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. I don't know. But we'll, we'll figure something out online that we can do. So that's what we have for that. March is my mom's birthday month. She currently has 50 in there as well. She's getting a five. When she hits $100, we will cap this off and I will send her over a $100 gift card for her and my dad to eat on us for her birthday. My mom's birthday is March 20th. It's the first day of spring and she'll be 70 years old next year, y'all. Oh my gosh. So we're already at 55. We will get there so quick when March rolls around there'll be no stress I'll have the money I'll already get the card put it in a birthday card and ship it down to her April we do the same thing with April that we do with Philip and Jessica but we're putting a twist on this so in April Danya also gets $20 every single month because she's going to get $100 for her birthday her birthday is April 29th she is 13 she will be 14 years old and I put an extra 20 in, so that makes her 100. Plus, she's got her money in the back. Now, her money is going to be bulked up a little bit when it comes to the meal. One of my subscribers had told me a while back, instead of doing Golden Corral twice, once in January and once in April, since it cost my family a arm and a leg to take an Uber XL over to Golden Corral because you need to sit four to six people in Uber XL, and Uber X is only three people can sit in the back seat because it's a smaller vehicle it's well over twenty dollars each way to go 15 minutes one way 15 minutes home but because i can't see and my husband's overseas i have to take uber as my means of transportation that's not me complaining about it y'all that's me telling you since i don't have a car payment i don't have car insurance i don't have to put gas in the gas tank i don't have to do car maintenance i have to do uber <laughs> so I probably can get just as expensive as some other people do sometimes in Uber rides. However, that's our means of transportation right now. So right now she currently has 50. We are gonna put, oh, did I already put that in there? Hold on. Oh, that may fly. Nope, I didn't. Woohoo! I just caught myself. We're gonna put a $5 back here for her meal, the transportation to and from Golden's Corral because I'm taking all three of my kids there during April uh, to cut down on the transportation costs instead of doing it in January and in April because it would be like a double dipping in and it would cost more. So in a, uh, April, we're gonna go ahead and go to Golden, go to Golden Corral. Um, it's to pay for the meal, to pay for the server's tip 
because I do tip very well. It's also for Danya's cake and it's for the transportation to go to and from round trip. So I'm thinking about capping that off at 250. We shall see, um, depending on what's going on, how much things are gonna cost in the full bit. So that is my kids' absolute favorite place to eat at. They get so super excited about going there. They come home and they wanna pass out and go to sleep. <laughs> So she's up to $100 for her birthday. She'll be capped off at $200, and then the rest is for her meal for all four of us to go to Golden Corral, transportation, the tip for the server, and her cake. So that's April. May is Mother's Day. So in May, we're going to put $50. I have changed my mind. I am going to cap this off at $100 for my mom and get her a really nice card again of some sort for her. And I am also going to put the extra money that's going in here after the 100 is capped off for my mom. It's going to be for my kids to each um, go and buy me a Mother's Day gift. So I will each divide um, extra money in here. I'm not sure what I'm going to cap that off at yet. But when we get there, I'll let you all know. I'm just kind of playing around a little bit with what I'm going to do. But they're going to each get some money. I'm going to take them to Walmart and I'm going to let them shop for me. So I think they will really, really like that. So that is for May. June is a totally different deal. June, we are actually putting $10 in instead of 5 And the reason for that is my current husband is not an actual biological father, but he is a stepfather to my kids. And we're going to put in 5 for him for Father's Day and 5 for my um, grandson who will actually be four next June. He just had a birthday. So we're going to put five in here. So with that being said, my June total is a little bit different because we started out with doing just my grandson's birthday. And then we moved into adding money in for my current husband's Father's Day gift. So we were at 80, $10 now puts us at $90. Now, I will probably cap my grandson off at 150 for his birthday. What I do is I just send my daughter the money, and she's free to do with it whatever she wants. She lets him go pick out a toy. It helps pay for the cake and decorations and things like that and some food. Um, so she usually lets him pick out a really, really nice toy. July is my father's birthday. He just had one, so we had to restart over for him. He currently has 35 in there. We're putting a 5 to make 40 for him and we do the same thing with him that we do with my mom he will get a meal card and we will cap him off at a hundred dollars as well he loves loves subway so that is july august we decided to do something a little different with august i'm not going to give a total because what i did is i actually bought from two different etsy shops um two different gifts for a mutual very good friend on youtube here and with that being said, she already knows it's coming. I've alerted her because <laughs> I want to make sure she knows that she's got things coming. Get over to that P.O. box, Amethyst. <laughs> um, but I did buy her a gift through Hands and Bands. And I also bought her a gift that goes with that through Miss Gina Renee Aron Budgets. So I've got that going over for her. She knows we're not going to give the total because I don't tell people what I pay for gifts. We are putting a five in here. And August was going to be a month that we were going to use to eat out on, but I've decided not to do that. I've decided um, we've got plenty of food in the house, y'all, and we're doing no spends, and we're doing prep pantry. And I did a meal inventory yesterday, and I was absolutely shocked to find out we probably have a good four months still left of food left in the house uh, before we start running critically low where I need to restock. So you'll be seeing a lot of meal preps going on and very low budgets when it comes to groceries. But that's what we did for August. So let me make sure I'm at the very right. So there's January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and August. Okay. Just want to make sure I'm on part, y'all. And we're going to do the same thing for September. I'm going to pick somebody in the YouTube world here that I know. And I'm going to give them a gift because I want to. And it's going to come from Etsy. <laughs> so August has that been done. This is September. September is getting another five. Not going to give totals on this one either because I'm not, I don't tell people what I spend on gifts and things. So that's September. October, that is my Chihuahua's birthday month, y'all. They're getting a five. Now, Jaya is doing amazing. She did have a seizure just the other day, but she's okay. It took her a day or two to get over all the side effects of her seizures. She does have epilepsy. She is on phenobarbital twice a day, but she's doing amazing. 
Um, Tucker had an issue last night. Well, I should say this morning. It was 4 o'clock this morning. We had a very big thunderstorm with hail and rain, and he is extraordinarily scared of thunderstorms. Unfortunately, he is a puppy meal baby, and he spent the whole first eight years of his life in a shed. And just like Anne, Cheryl Ann, I should say, because she used to go by Ann, but Cheryl Ann over at Making Money Moves says, and I agree with her completely, there is a really nice place in hell for people who mistreat animals. Um, and I wholeheartedly agree because my mom actually owns a rescue. But with that being said, he lived his first eight years of his life in a shed and was only out, let out to stud and go to the bathroom. And he also had to fight for food because there wasn't enough to go around. And I adopted him last October in 2021, shortly after my beautiful Chihuahua, Sid Happy Logan, passed away at the age of 16 and a half, almost 17. And Tucker is extraordinarily scared of storms, and I'm not sure exactly what the cause of it is. Um, but I do know he was in a shed for most of his life. Now he is a very spoiled baby who eats homemade dog food, who lives on my bed, <laughs> on my pillow top bed, with his blankies, his pillows. He's got access to food and water at all times. He's just living the life of luxury. He's had two, two major medical surgeries, and he is doing absolutely amazing. So I'm planning on possibly getting him a thunder jacket uh, because he was shaking so bad. I thought it was a seizure that Jire was having, and then when I figured out which dog it was, it was Tucker. And Tucker was shaking so bad it almost looked like a seizure. So he was freaking out. We turned on some doggy music when I go to bed at night. We do put on... Um, dog music for calming dog music for the dogs. It seems to work really good and it was it helped him out this morning. So five dollars for all that to say five dollars went in there for their birthdays. Tucker will be nine on October 1st and Jaya will be four on October 31st. Now we don't know Tucker's true birthday but I gave him an October birthday because Jaya's birthday is in October too. So five dollars went in there for their birthdays and also for my kids for candy for Halloween I get them a huge bag of candy. I dump it in their plastic pumpkins and hand it to them. We don't go out for Halloween. We just do candy and movies and pizza and things like here at the house for Halloween. So that's October. Woo, long-winded. November and December are totally different months for that. In November, we do a $20 bill because that is my daughter Tori's birthday. I will off-camera switch out these bills. She has 180 another 20 makes no she has what does she have she doesn't have a 180 yes she does she has 180 oh my gosh we've already gotten that far up 180 plus 20 makes 200 y'all i need to get her to 400 for her birthday for her wardrobe oh my gosh i cannot believe i'm that far up already december is the same way december is getting two tens though 10 and 20 and that was at 180 as well so now that is at 200. I started out doing 10s and then I realized I needed to pick up the pace because I didn't start these in January. So now they <laughs> are getting $20 bills. So 200 for Christmas and not to mention I am going to be doing my penny challenge next week. I do one whole month at a time and just slap it into the envelope and be done with it. I don't do it day by day or week by week. I do one whole month at one time and just slap it in. So August will be coming up here shortly. So that completes all 12 months. Now we're rolling into my savings challenges, y'all. So my first savings challenge is picture day. And Danya is already fully funded for picture day. So woohoo. Um, she will have her $70 for next month when she has her pictures. She does start school next week. She is in volleyball tryouts currently. It's a five-day tryout. She'll know on Friday if she makes team A, B, or C. And I will let y'all know. I'm super excited. I'm pretty sure she'll make team A, but I don't know how they break that up. They may break that up by um, grade level. That's probably what they'll do. So that being said, um, she's in eighth grade, going into eighth grade, and she starts next week. So picture day is already taken care of. I'll be pulling the money out, and I will be using my credit card. So that's what we're going to do. I did speak with a studio. We're looking at right about $200 for my kids' pictures. Um, if I really want to do a whole bunch of different things with them and then um, having Danya included in that as well, even though she does school pictures, to kind of have them grouped together as a sibling picture as well. So we are sticking in a $10 bill. So there we go. And Danya's just fully funded. 
Woohoo! <laughs> so with that being said, we have that one taken care of. Um, the next one is memberships, y'all. And memberships has 70. We're sticking in a 10. Now this will cover my Silhouette Studio. This will cover my Canva, which I decided to keep currently for right now. So Silhouette Studio, Canva. Um, we are going to do my WW through this one, but I think I'm going to move that over to my other binder since I've taken some things out. You'll see that at the end of this week. So I think we're just going to do Canva and Silhouette for right now. So that puts us up to $80 for that. I do want to get yearly memberships for sure. Um, the next one is glasses, y'all. And glasses already has 90, y'all, $90. I only need 150. My ex-husband pays the other 150 for her glasses. They run us about 300. She has retinopathy or prematurity. Um, so she has a pretty strong prescription. And then we get glasses thinned out, which is extremely expensive. It's $100 per lens. It's ridiculous, I know. So we are putting 10 in. That gives me 100 $50 more, five more stuffings, y'all, and I'll be ready for next July already. Oh my gosh, we're only in August, y'all. So once this is done, and once any of these are done, I will move into new savings challenges. So after glasses, we do have um, tuition, and tuition is at 70. We're putting in a 10. This covers their Skillshare, which is $150.5 a year. And it covers their math courses, which run just a little over $100 per year. So they are using a new program called Teaching Textbooks this year for math. It is completely parent-free, hands-off. The kids can get on there. They do their lessons. Um, Jessica will actually be going into fifth grade math, even though she's going to be a seventh grader this year. She has to have a lower form of math. She's extremely good, but she needs to learn concepts that the schools did not teach her really well. She was on a full IEP, and unfortunately, in the school district, they don't have time to wait and wait and wait and wait for you to grasp the concept. If you can't grasp the concept after a certain amount of time, they do have to move on. Um, so they put her a little far behind on that. So I am reteaching her, and I do have the time to do it. Um, I love math, so it's great for me. It's great for her. But the math for teaching textbook is just under $50 per child per year, y'all. They grade it, and if I don't like the grades and I don't think they did well enough, like, if she flunks something, which she normally does not, but if she has trouble and she flunks something, I can erase that grade and it'll throw it right back into her list and she'll have to redo the assignment again, which is great. Um, they grade it for you. You get grades online. I get a printable that I can print out at any time to put into their schooling portfolio. And if she needs extra help, they have tutors, y'all. They have tutors. You can call and speak with a live tutor. So, And that's all wrapped into that program and it's all for the same price of $50 per year, right about $50. Um, Philip will be taking it too, and he's an absolute math whiz. So <laughs> that is for them. So that was 70. So uh, 10 going in is 80, and that was for um, those two programs. This program is already paid for this year. These are for next year, y'all. And then last but not least, we do have $70 in our home fund that we need to do for um, repairs. So another 10 will make $80 for that as well. So that completes that. Now, now let's get into the new ones that we have. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Y'all, I am trying not to go into a coughing spell while I'm online, but it could happen. So in our new ones, we do have medical. And let me make sure I put these in the order that I believe I put them in. Is that medical? Yes, we did. Y'all, I'm getting better. <laughs> in medical, we are putting a 10. Now, medical is for this year. For the end of the year, my kids do get sick, y'all. We get the coughs, the colds, whatever, the body aches. So I need to come up with some money for to restock for medications. Now, being a prepper, I don't stock years in advance. Yes, you can. And yes, taking expired medication past a certain point is okay. But it loses its effectiveness over time. So after the expiration date, it goes down to only about 80% effective. I'm not down for 80% effective anything. I want 100%. So I need to restock on Motrin, Tylenol, cough syrups, cough drops, um, vapor rub, vapor liquid that goes into their little machines, all that stuff. So that being said, we're going to put $10 in. 
I just got my eight count box of Kleenexes in from Amazon Prime. So we're good in stock to go for tissue. So the Kleenexes should come in. The next one that I am putting into this one is roll the dice, y'all. Now, I am going to ask my daughter to pick a number. And we're not going to go by what this is. I'm just putting that in as a placement to tell me what this envelope stands for. Jessica, I need you to do me a favor. Are you there? Okay. I need you, don't say nothing other than a number because I'm doing a challenge. So I need you to pick a number, one through 10. Any number? 10. 10, okay. Two, five, six. That should be my tens. Gotta go to the bank for this one. Is that a 10? Yeah. <laughs> I have it upside down. All right, y'all, she chose a 10. Okay, thank you, Jesse. Bye. So, this is a $10. It's going in here. The roll of dice challenge usually is one through six, but I'm making it one through 10. What do I plan on doing with roll of the dice challenge? I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't get that far. I just got as far as I wanted to use that challenge. I've seen so many people do it, and normally they roll the dice one through six, and they put it in here. My challenge will be one through 10. So we will be doing this on a weekly basis, and of course she had to pick the highest number. That's just Jessica. <laughs> so one through 10. The last one, y'all, I cannot find my A6 little slip. I will find it. It's going to be for snacks, okay? It's got, it says snack duty, and it is from Jordan Budgets, y'all. Y'all know Jordan here. I know Jordan. I love Jordan. So with that being said, we are going to do snacks. And with that, I am literally going to stick in a five for snacks, y'all, because well, my kids go through a lot of snacks. Now, my snack is not going to be a snack duty for like a school or an event or anything of that sort. My snacks is going to be for holiday snacks. Hot cocoa that we need to stock up on here real soon. Marshmallows, s'mores, you name it. Yes, candy canes are included. <laughs> holiday treats. So that's what we're going to put in here. Next time you see me, next Monday, I will have a snack duty card here. And that is what we're going to do our snacks for. So long-winded today we are going to end up going on this side and i will make my i will have my son let me correct myself make dividers and we're turning this 20 envelope set into a 40 envelope set by using the back sides and using dividers between the front side and the back sides money right now i don't have the labels yet my son will be making those this week for me he is just he's sleeping y'all he's behind me he's sleeping um he's sleeping in today i bought back in january Taylor Budget's Sister Edition Savings Challenge. She has a bigger edition that allows you, I believe, to save up to $20,000. But she also has a sister edition, which she calls her lower income set. Now, by no means do I think $8,000 is low income um, <laughs> when it comes to some of us. Um, it's good. I love it. I, I just adore her. So I bought the sister edition. I paid $25 online because I'm one of those people I want it when I can get it. If there's a printable, I'm going to go after the printable first most of the time. So with that being said, I got the entire bundle, $25, printed it out, and laminated every single sheet. On the front of each sheet, it has the savings um, for Monday, or Monday, oh my gosh, for months, January through December, so you can keep track of how much you save each month. On the back is because this is how I laminated you um, is one of the savings challenge. This is the O-Snap emergency savings challenge. Now, I already have emergency savings challenge in place, but I wanted to pull this one. So, with that being said, there's a 5, 10, and 15 on each row, and you can pick whatever you want. I can bounce around. I can make this my own by customizing it and doing the ones that I want to do, when I want to do, and how much money. If I don't have $15 a week, I can pick a 5. If I have more money, I can pick a 10 and a 15. I can do whatever I want. And that's the beauty of all these different types of savings challenges. So I laminated the entire booklet myself. It's cheaper to do it that way than to buy it laminated. It's more expensive. So I have a laminator. I have sheets. I printed it. I laminated it. And I love it. So with that being said, when you buy it, it goes strictly straight to your email immediately for you to download. I suggest that you save it in a file. Um, so that you always have access to it if you need to reprint things out as well. 
So we are going to do the O snap. I don't have the labels made for this, and I'm going to put all of her savings challenges on each one of these. Now, we're not going to do all of them at the same time. I don't have that much money, <laughs> so we're not going to do that. So, But what we are going to stick in today is a $5 bill. So we're going to take this. Oops, wrong one. Two fives. Okay, got to make sure I'm in the right envelope for pulling. We're going to stick a $5 bill in. Now, because I have money on the other side and I don't want to mess up what I have on the other side, I'm going to use a paper clip for this back side. And I am going to paper clip it. Now, the next time you see me, I'm going to show you this week, later on this week, not right, not tomorrow. <laughs> I can't do it that fast. I'm going to show you how I broke this down to be able to save um, for each one of these in the full bit that I can pull at any time. And if I don't want to do a snap next time, I'll have the other savings challenges back here as well. So I can pick and choose what I want. And these are laminated, and the lamination is for me to use them as copies so I can put them on the photocopier and re-photocopy them. I will have these also in paper form so I can write on them as well. Because the lamination sheets and I don't play well with one another at all. Um, and I did get some Expo markers that I thought I could wipe off, and they weren't wiping off. And somebody said go to Sharpie, but they were too hard to wipe off for me. So that's what we've done with that. So that's moving aside. 100 envelope challenge is not being done today, y'all. I apologize, but we are not doing it today um, since I stuck in those extra challenges. Now, with that being said, where is my extra money at that I needed for this? Okay. I knew I'd be missing something, y'all. Oh, there's my 20. Yep, here's my 20. This should be my 10. Is that my 10? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Y'all, I need eyeballs at work. <coughs> there's my 10. And go back. Now, y'all know that I am doing... <coughs> Excuse me. I knew this coughing spell was going to start working its way up. I am doing an emergency 12 month ahead binder, which means that <coughs> this binder here is for my first month ahead. Excuse me, y'all. I'm going to like die over here. No, I did not need that. I knew why I didn't find that extra money. Okay. That's pulling from a pot I shouldn't be pulling from. Okay. I knew I was messing something up, y'all. <coughs> Excuse me. I am doing a 12 month ahead binder, which means this is an emergency binder. I will not be touching it to use it for the next month. A lot of YouTubers on here do pull money from the month that they're in to use it for the next month for their bills. I'm not doing that. This is my one year ahead binder. Now, this only has what I need in for the categories that I need to do for one month ahead. Rent has already been fully funded. Electric has been fully funded. Gas and all that's been fully funded. And what I'm doing is I'm fully funding all of these categories, y'all. And once I'm done, I will move these categories over to one month ahead. I'll empty out this binder. I'll restart again. And that's what I wanted the fully funded cards for. I don't think I have enough. So free, I think I need to buy another set. But anyways, what I'm working on right now is groceries. I only have groceries, de doggy daycare for one day of emergency doggy daycare if I need to put the dogs in for any unknown reason. Um, I need groceries, daycare, and buffer. Now buffer has some money in there. I'm working on towards a $300 buffer. Once that's full, that will be fully funded. Daycare is only $100. That hasn't even been touched yet to be fully funded. Right now we're working on groceries and it's got over $400 in it right now. So, or it has 400, I'm sorry, $400 in it right now. I am taking the last $33, and this is why I couldn't find my money. I forgot I put it in here. So it's going to be a 20, a 10, and one, two, three. The last $33 that I was going to use for this month, remember, I took $400 off the top. Now, I made a miscorrection in my speaking last time. I don't get $800 a week for groceries. I get $800 a month for groceries. That's what I've calculated out of my budget. $800 on a four-week month on a five week month i'll do a th up to a thousand if needed but y'all i just told you not too long ago 
in this video, we have a massive amount of food left in the house. So I'm trying to rack my brain is why I kept buying food and why I kept buying food just because I had the money. doesn't mean I need to go out and buy it if I've got food in the house. So we did a refrigerator clean out. I do realize that I am going to be running low on fresh fruit and vegetables. So all you're going to see us buy for the rest of this, not this month, but for September is fresh fruit, vegetables, breads, milks, juices, that sort of thing. Perishables. You're not going to see us buy canned goods, box goods, baking stuff. All of that I have got massive in stock. I have three deep freezers full, a refrigerator freezer full. I've got prepper pantry shelves downstairs stocked still. I have my pantry stock and I have my overflow stock. So we don't need anything. Plus I have five gallon buckets full of beans. I've got black beans, red beans, pinto beans, and they're all each, each bucket holds like 30 pounds of beans, okay? I've got flour that's full in my five-gallon buckets. I've got sugar that's full in my five-gallon buckets. I've got oatmeal that's full in my five-gallon buckets, so you get the idea. So the last $33 for August, I am not even going to use, y'all. We're only halfway in the month, and I don't even need it. So we have $400 in here. We're trying to get to a 1000 for this, okay? Each month, I am going to put a 1000 just to catch up with any kind of inflation or if I go over. So once this reaches a thousand, I will be done with groceries. And then I will throw the hundred dollars in for doggy daycare for an emergency doggy daycare in case something happens for my dogs. Um, I will throw that in here and then be done with that. And then the last thing I got to fully fund is my buffer, which I always put a $300 buffer in. Um, and we are currently working on that one as well. So once this is fully funded again, this will go into one month ahead. Um, that will be at the bank. It will be in a safety deposit box. It will be out of reach, not being able to touch unless I absolutely have an emergency. Then we'll work on month number two. We're doing this for 12 months, y'all. And this is stuff that if anything hits the fan, I've got one year supply in there. So we did ch change out Netflix, y'all, and I made a mistake on that as well. So let me correct me on that. Netflix we got rid of. It's just... It's not worth the price anymore, y'all. I'm going to be real honest. And a lot of people I heard are getting rid of Netflix. So we got rid of Netflix and we have... Discovery Plus going in, which is only $6 per month. So I took out the Netflix money. I put it, um, the rest of that money, I believe I stuff it in my buffer. It was either my buffer or my groceries I stuffed it in. Uh, but I don't have my sheet off to the side that tells me which one I did because I do have sinking funds for everything. Um, binder sheets. So what we did was we took that out. We only put $6 in. Now, let me re-explain what I, what I messed up on. I think I told you that we got Disney Plus in there, but it is actually Discovery Plus. Because I'm on G5, start with Verizon, which is unlimited talk, text, and unlimited data for $36 a month. They raised it up by one. It was 35, now it's 36. That's fine. Per month, that's all. I don't have to worry about minutes going over or somebody using cell data too much, nothing. It's all all uh, unlimited, we get the Disney bundle through Verizon for free. So we get Disney, ESPN, and Hulu for free. Okay, so those things are already taken care of. Check with your local providers because our Xfinity, which is our cable company, gives us HBO Max for free just for being on the tier that we're on. So now we don't have to pay for ESPN. We don't have to pay for Disney+. Plus. We don't have to pay for Hulu, and we don't have to pay for HBO Max. All of that is free. Now, Verizon did give us a six-month free subscription to our Discovery Plus. After that, I will have to pay. That's why I put the $6 in here, because it is $5.99. I believe that's what it is. No. Let me take that back. It's $6.99. Yes, it's $6.99. $6.99 a month. So I put a $7 in here. I'm sorry. Let me correct myself. I put $7 in there for Discovery Plus. So after the six months that we have with Verizon giving it to us for free, it will be on my Verizon bill. Kosher. Cool. It's just an extra $7 per month. So that's what we did. So that's what we have today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, leave them in the, or leave them in the comment section down below. Lord, I always say description box. I don't know why. Uh, leave them in the comment section down below. I'm going to go have my coughing spell. Get me a cup of coffee. I haven't had coffee in two weeks. Yes, get me a cup of coffee, and I'm going to start sectioning off some more budgeting items. So, until next time, guys, please remember to stay safe. We'll catch you next video. Without Limits Budgets is out.